that was a good and informative presentation. And the audience has already joined you. I want to say a few words of how we can get uh, a good presentation. You were a good audience. You know, I've been talking a little bit about good audiences. Uh, the worst person in the audience was myself. I tried to be a good audience, but I also fell asleep with that. But then, that is because I was up quite early this morning, and then I never got the chance to sleep again. Uh, one of the reasons. The other reason is I'm, even if you notice that, I'm actually working quite hard here. Uh, but a good audience is listening attentively, which you all did, and uh, also being silent, which you also was. And then the even better is to really look uh, interested when you are interested. Because when you make a performance like this, it's very good to have someone kind of to look at that, get strength from, that looks interested, looks very positive in his face. And uh, that helps the presenter very much. And then you shall try to kind of look all around the audience, not really stare at someone for a very long period of time, because then they will try to turn their head away, because it's a, it's a bit awkward when people stare at you. But let uh, your eyes uh, spread over, over the audience, and then when you kind of need strength, you look at someone who uh, seems to be interested. Uh, and you notice that Sona was not dependent on his manuscript. He had the manuscript for support, but most of the time he was looking out at us in the audience. So he knew his topic. And that actually gives you much more of security when you do the presentation. If you have to read your manuscript, that really shows that you don't know what you're talking about, really. They were not, not always, but very often, those people have kind of copied facts and then uh, it's not really their presentation. Uh, but Sona, most of the time, just had his manuscript at the side like this, uh, which showed that he knows. And then I knew, had known Sona for, I don't know how many years now, but I know this is topics that are really interesting. And uh, you said that this about positive psychology has uh, no implication on uh, uh, the application for politics. That is not true for everybody, I would say. <laughs> In your case, I think it's actually very important that you could, he could present his interest. And we actually were fortunate to be able to document it. We have a video from a son I was 15 years old and talked about uh, the effect of laughter in an interview I, I did in Zellacu School. Uh, and I think that is part of Sonam's success. Uh, it's because that makes him special in the application process. And then I think the blog, the first, first uh, uh, applications, I copied some DVDs for you, and I think the blog is much better. Uh, to be honest, I think it's a much better way to do it. But uh, we all were <laughs> very, very fresh in this process. And we got our knowledge from some people that knew, and then from books, and from trial and error. I made the error. <laughs> the boys, the boys tried things. Uh, so uh, this is, and uh, I think you will also notice that the Calder is uh, has a keen interest that he. Uh, are you going, going to do such a presentation? Or are you or are you not? Are you, not? you are yes. That uh, he also has a keen interest, which I mean, all universities will not care about positive psychology and so on. But many enough we can, which so on I'm also proud in the end. Uh, I think both hands were enough, but that is because it was just over both hands that they had applied to. Uh, so you, had, you were accepted in more than 50%, I think, in the end. Uh, which is a good result. It's very common also because I heard one Swiss person I was uh, talking to about this, and he had friends in the States, he had done his masters in uh, one of the universities. 
And uh, he had a friend, he had a flight of 100 or something, and then he was accepted. And then his next phase, that is to select which ones to go on with of all the universities he was accepted in. Okay, I think, John, that we now should walk back uh, to uh, the other house. And uh, shall we do your presentation this afternoon, 3 o'clock? Uh, so we'll have lunch and then we'll have uh, rest time. Okay, thank you for being a good audience.